seven o'clock and you know what that means it's mail time so hi to everybody that's out there watching me just give me a couple of minutes so I can bring your comments up if you uh, are watching please just give me a shout so I can make sure that everything's working okay here we go let's see Beautiful. Hello, Annette. How are you, love? Okay. Beautiful. Sue and Susie, Shirley, hi there. Cindy. Excuse me while I get comfortable. Hello, Marion and Hazel. How are you, loves? Wes, how you going? You good, Annette? That's great to hear. Hello, Julie. You behaving yourself? Hey, Natasha and Dawn. Linda. Hey, Rowena. Just dandy. Excellent. Raining up your way, Diane, is it? Leanne. <laughs> yeah, I know you never behave yourself. Hey, Daryl. How are you? Cold over where you are? Okay. Oh, look, it's it's getting better, Hazel. Um, thankfully, still taking painkillers, but I've moved off the serious ones, so that's a step in the right direction. Thank you for asking. Ashley, you managed to stay awake. Beautiful. Hope you haven't had too much coffee so you can get to sleep when this is all done. All right, we've got a few people on, so we might as well make a move. Um, I will swap this over to the other view. 10 degrees. Oh, well, that's not too bad. Hey, Tracy. All right, I'll just swap this over and we can um, get this started. Okay. All right, so the weave this week is, um, and I have no idea how to actually pronounce this correctly, so I'm going to go with a Sherzo. If anyone knows uh, <laughs> that it's supposed to be anything different, let me know. Um, but that's what I'm going to call it. Okay, so I guess you would call it a Byzantine variant. Um, I've done this one in just the one weave size at the moment. I was playing around with another size um, just a, a few minutes ago, which I'll show you as well. But this one's done in a 16 gauge a quarter inch in the VA and 18 gauge uh, 3 sixteenths or uh, 4.75 in the AA. Now, the one thing with this weave is sometimes uh, these rings here on the side become a little loose and they can move away from the weave. One way to counteract that is to put a slightly smaller size in, which I've done in the other half of this bracelet here. So I've gone down on just the two sides here and put 9 64ths in, 18 gauge 9 64ths. It doesn't stop it completely from moving away from the weave, but it doesn't look quite as bad. As soon as there's weight on the weave, um, those rings don't move. But I know that some people find it a problem with this particular weave. So if you are put out by those weaves, the rings there on the side, just go down a size or two. All right, so as I said, that's uh, 18 gauge and 16 gauge. I've got this tiny little piece here that I was mucking around with. Um, the BA rings on this one are 16 gauge 5.75, and the coloured rings are our. 14 gauge um, 5 sixteenths. That looks like it would work for a bracelet. It does, though, suffer very much from these rings moving away. So you would need to take those side rings down. If you were to make earrings or something out of this weave, I'd suggest you'd hang it this way. And that, then you don't have to worry about those rings coming away. A 
the hard K sound. Skirzo. Skirzo? Is that what you mean, Julie? Anyway, I have no idea. Maybe you can ring me up and tell me, but not right now. All right, so let's make a start on this. So taking uh, one of your uh, larger rings, in this case the quarter inch or the 6.35, and we're going to pop onto that four closed rings of our smaller. Um, close that up. And then just to give yourself a little handle, pop a twist tie or a paper clip or whatever it is that you like to use. I put an Italian accent into it. Yeah, no, I'm not going to embarrass myself that badly. All right, so we've got one big ring with four of our smaller rings on it. We take up another one of our 3 16 rings and we pop that through all four that we had on there previously and we close that up. Now I'm hoping my joins are going to be okay tonight. Um, don't usually use such a fine gauge to demonstrate with and I haven't can't use my magnifying lamp so please excuse any dodgy closures. Uh, this one's actually sky blue Sue that I'm working with now is that what I hope that's what you're talking about. All right so once we've popped one ring in we're going to pop another one in. Okay another one of our three sixteenths. Close her up. So we've got a chain of one big one, four small ones, and then two small ones. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to then fold back those two rings a la Byzantine. And we're going to, with one of our open small rings, we're going to feed it between our four rings right smack bang in the middle there picking up those two rings that we just folded back just like that okay and we're going to close that ring up and then we're going to do the same again between the first and the second ring, putting it in between but picking up the two rings that we folded back. Let's see if I can get that close enough. It's a bit harder with this than a gauge, but you can see it. Okay, and we close that one up. And then we want to do that again on the other end. So between rings three and four, slip in another opened ring, making sure you pick up the two that we folded back. You've got both of them. And we close that up. Okay. So this is what our work currently looks like. So now we need another one of our big rings, our BA ring in this case. And we slip that through those three rings that we just added. Now you may need to make sure that those two rings on the side are all fitting in there properly. If they're not folded in there properly, you might find it a little bit difficult to get that big ring in. Make sure they're all sitting in place correctly. Put your big ring through all those three. You can see that and close it up. 
Oh, sorry, don't close it up yet. Whoops, missed a step. Sorry, loves. Pop on four closed rings and then you can close her up. I was busy reading comments, got distracted. Okay, there we go. So we've got four rings, four closed rings on there again. And into those four closed rings, we're going to put an open ring, making sure we pick them all up. Okay. And closing that one up and we repeat with a second ring. Okay, so there we are again with the four and then the two. We fold back that two like we would if we're doing Byzantine. We take up another open small ring and in the middle of the four rings, so between rings two and three, we slip in another that open ring picking up both of the two rings that we just folded back. Close that ring up. Okay, with another opened ring, put it between rings one and two, making sure we pick up, see if I can get that close. Unfortunately, the thin gauge, it's a bit hard. We pop that in between rings one and two, picking up the two folded back rings. Close it up. And then one last one between rings three and four. Put that into place, close it up. So the weave itself is really quite simple. The difficulty lies in getting the rings that actually uh, work well. Um, I had trouble coming up with different sizes. Um, I even had rings of the same size but different colours go, you know, affect it. So it is quite sensitive with its ring sizes. Um, it was a little bit of playing around, which is why I've only supplied one, one set of ring sizes with this um, tutorial. It is a bit fiddly. Okay, so we just keep going along back to the beginning. We take up our big ring, our quarter inch, and we pop that through the top three rings. Now I don't know if you can see there but you can see that those rings aren't all in place and I'm having difficulty getting that in. So if we make sure that they're all sitting there nice and neat. Okay, makes it a little bit easier to get that big silver ring in. So I've tried to make this as snug as I can trying to keep these rings from Flopping. The more weight that these rings have on them, the less inclined they are to open up. But you can see how easy it is for them to flop out. As I said, if you're really unhappy with what those rings are doing, go down a couple of uh, ring IDs. Um, 9 64 and the 8 gauge works quite well for this one. Okay, so we've got our opened a quarter inch ring there. And before we close her up, we're going to pop on four more closed 3 sixteenths. Okay, and there we go. So that's what we're looking like at the moment. And we just continue along. So we pop in, we've got our four, and we want to put in our two three sixteenths rings. Okay, 
All right, so we're going to give away a copy of the tutorial tonight, as we always do, only if, while our session is live. And I do need you to be able to accept the tutorial via Messenger on Facebook. If I can't message you easily, um, I won't be able to send the tutorial to you. So with um, the free tutorial, if you put in the comments, uh, let me see whether you mm, let me think whether you prefer red wine or white wine there you go I'm not sure I've done that one before I don't think I have so pop in the comments red wine or white wine whatever your preference is has to be one of those guys for me to send out a copy of the tutorial to you okay Leanne Floppy ones are the, they're the ones where, no, no, they're not, um, they're not the ones that you're folding back. They are the, the first and the fourth of the, of the four. Well then, in it, you cheeky girl, I won't send you one. Okay, so we've got our two there that we're going to then fold back like we would Byzantine. Take up one of our opened rings, feed it through the middle of that four, making sure we pick up, I haven't folded them back very well, there we go, we pick up the two rings that we folded back and we close that up. <laughs> And then we need to put one of the opened rings in between rings one and two, picking up again. You can see here those two rings that we folded back. We'll close the ring up. Okay, and in between rings three and four, we do the same, scooping up the two rings we folded back, making sure you've got both of those. There we go. You can see there they've gone through the two rings. Close that up. Okay, so you've got your little bit there that looks like I think it looks sort of like a hand with the fingers sticking out. <laughs> well, Sarah, we're still trying to organise our um, drunken mail session. We haven't actually got around to it yet because I went and got a sore tooth and can't drink any alcohol with the painkillers I was on. So hopefully soon we'll have a drunken session as well. Okay, so once you've got all those in place, pop your, your big silver ring through those three that are sticking up the top. And mine is not being helpful at the moment. One of those side rings isn't staying in place. There we go. There we go. Pop it through there. And before we close it up, Put four closed rings on. All right. It's getting better, thanks, Silva. It's not quite there yet, but um, the dentist told me it would uh, take a few weeks for it to start feeling halfway better. All right, so we've got four rings on. <laughs> oh dear. Put our uh, first ring through that four. Close it up. 
and we want to pop another one in there. So we've got two rings going through the four. <laughs> Busy boys. Sounds like it, Silver, doesn't it? Thank God for boozy boys, huh? All right, so then we need to fold those two rings back like we would with Byzantine. And we're going to put another opened ring through the middle, scooping up those two rings. Okay, so that's pretty much it for the weave. Is there any questions from anybody? Is there something you don't understand? A little step you want me to do again? Okay. Pop that one through. I'm glad you like it, Ashley. It is a lovely weave. It makes really nice earrings as well. But it is difficult to get the sizes to work properly. Teach you what, Sarah? How to mail. Okay, popping our silver ring in and closing her up. Okay, so if no one's got any further questions. I think I'll leave it at that for the demonstration. Look, Silver, with the with the side ones, I went down. So these rings are the three sixteenths in the eighteen gauge, and with the smaller ones, I took it all the way down to a nine sixty fourth, just because I wanted it to be the same gauge and the same ring color, and um, that was the smallest that I had on, on hand. So I went down to the 9 64ths. You wouldn't be able to go too much smaller than that anyway, I don't think. So I've gone down two ring sizes there. Um, like I said, it doesn't completely stop it. You can see there that they still flip out a little bit. As soon as there's any weight on this weave, so as soon as it gets long enough, um, I find that that flipping of the outside ring stops. Uh, but if it really worries you, then go down a couple of sizes with the ID. Okay. Oh, dancing for Facebook. Yeah, that was Chris's idea. That was, I have nothing to do with that. <laughs> Zorons are a learning curve. Why is that in it? Pop this back to the other view so you're not looking at my hands. Are you, in, are you enjoying them though, Annette? Or are you, what's, what's the problem you're having with them? <laughs> no, it's like a train wreck, Silver. I think once it starts, you just you can't look away. <laughs> oh, no, Sarah, I'm looking very haggard, but thank you very much, darling. <laughs> they do feel different in it. Do you like them, though? I mean, I really enjoyed the Zurons, um, but, but they are very light, especially if you've been using something like a Wubber beforehand because the Wubbers are so heavy. Um Zurons almost feel like they're a toy. Look at the big love fest going on there. Okay. All right, so that's the weave for this week. We've got one more weave for this month uh, for those that are part of the subscription. Uh, your new kits will start going out on Monday. 
and we're putting them I've been putting them together today for you if you're still interested in signing up for the subscription you've got basically tomorrow to sign up for the July and uh, as I said those kits will all start going out on Monday so you will have them hopefully in time for uh, the next month July's got five weeks in it so you'll be receiving five kits I'm glad you hung in Ashley that's great <laughs> I go to bed <laughs> all right so is there um, anything else that I can help anybody with are we fine we're good with Andy beautiful all right so if you guys are okay we might leave it at that then I'll get the for those that commented I'll get the tutorials out to you guys probably by about Tuesdays usually when I get them out um, I am sorry that the tutorials went out a little bit late to the subscription people this week it just seems to have been one of those weeks um, we got we let a few things get on top of us so we got a little bit behind I will though try to get them out to you next week on Wednesday when we announce the next wave all right so I hope everybody enjoys their night um, if any of you've managed to finish whipping up the weave don't forget to post it in Aussie mailers for us uh, we like to see what everybody's doing playing with smelly stuff I'm almost too scared to ask. <laughs> all right, guys, look, take care, and um, we will catch up with you all next week. Um, and hopefully I'll get to see some of you guys on Aussie Mailers. All right, bye.